And the service to Tio, who just sticks a right hand up to keep it alive. That's this left hand side, and Florchik crunches one cross court to give Poland the first point. Great setting from Poznanski. Lots of width on that ball. Too much on it from Tio, so improvisation at the net. And a chance here, cross court for Cook. It's a great rip from Cook. Very much wrist operates away from the body. He's got two blockers on him. He's got good court vision. Goes the opposite way. Too much on it. First points for Indonesia. Serve from Madonna. That's a good reach. What a reach that is from Crook. Somehow he's arched his back and clawed that one over the net. Poland just trying to play with real width early on to both pins. This is the first time that four on four beach volleyball has been into a major international event and being played competitively, competitively to be fair. He's going to see Skerv Rendy into the action early on, so as you would expect. Type of setting that both teams are using as a fast play from Indonesia. When they pass quickly, they can run their offense with great speed and it makes it difficult for the blockers. That's exactly how they're going to try and play. Down the middle, and the block is from Adana. Three all. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to have a lot of very close games today. Yeah, we've come to the end of the event. And if you were to ask me before this game a winner, I wouldn't be able to tell you. That's for sure. Two very young, athletic, dynamic teams. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. The winner is going to be the team that handles the occasion the better and settles the fastest you think that might sound an obvious thing to say but i totally agree and, and last night you'd say that indonesia did not settle their way into the game against the usa whatsoever and they certainly have now the usa arrived at the big occasion and played so well at the al Garifa last night Mischuk peeling round to the left side for the cross court spike. He gets quite a large chunk of the attempted block. Kind of mixing up their options, but both their left side players being very good on the diagonal, being good off the body spikers. Oh, that rolls across the top of the net as Florchik makes the block and Rendy hang time from the Indonesian number two. Phenomenal athlete, but the difference between the two here is that Indonesia are trying to play so quick. The first and second touch, they're really trying to unsettle Poland here to try and find gaps in between the block. So coming in from Yossi. Poznanski will set again and it mischuk. This time he gets the uh, block. And good work. Well, good work from Poland to keep that ball alive. They had no right to get it back over, but it was a, an easy finish in the end. Ardana was celebrating. Now he can celebrate. And Indonesia are in front for the first time. Oh, good reach from Poznanski, but it's easy pickings for Ardana. Ardana's doing a great job in there. He's double stacking, so he's not only setting, he's also doubling up as a middle blocker. And the last two times he's got across, got two in the block, making it difficult for Poland to score. Hit. Tio wanting it chased down. Same as indoor volleyball, trying to use the middle both the, sorry both teams early on. Some angles through there from Poland. Floor check. Yeah, too much on that.
strong play through the right side for Poland. And because they're using the middle, it means that there's a high chance they'll get 1v1 offensively. Oh, so quick. And this time, coming round the back is your seat. The whole philosophy, Charlie, completely right, playing so quick. That back sets right in the pathway, but always making it difficult for the blockers of Poland to get their line and track the spikers. Poznanski in the set. Here comes uh, Crook again. Drifting block. Manana again. The more that Poland can use the middle, it's just going to hold that Indonesian block. Here comes Tio for his first attack. You already get a feel that Indonesia are just spreading out their offense a little bit more. They're combining different types of attacks, but they're also more balanced in the way that they're playing. That's a big hit. It's a very, very Polish swing, that. Super physical, robust, powerful rip to the angle. Can sit on the outside of the block all day long, but probably not digging that one. Now, Rendy, he hasn't had too much to do. Oh, they've kept it alive. And it will be Indonesia at 11 9 at the side switch. Rendy. Really unleashing his power. We're always getting the little Rendy celebration. His character, isn't he? How many times throughout this competition have we seen him turn to the crowd, fire them up? He's got lots of plaudits, especially from the Americans, the likes of Casey Patterson and McKibbins, just for his general all-round character and fire that he has out here. Just missed by Crook. and just lacking the consistency of what we've seen from Indonesia so far. They're really in form. Great serving down the line. That means the ball has to go out to the left-hand side. There's no other option. Yeah, good pass. Poznanski with a rare attack. They've leveled it up. It's always interesting to look at the service tactics as well. Indonesia serving deep to five to try and get the left-side spiker out the game. And Poland serving. So. 10 12. The error count so far is one certainly worth watching here for Poland because they've already made their fair share in set one, spiking or serving. Good blocking. It's uh, Adana again. underneath the ball there the middle turning with the shoulder towards the left hand side of court this makes it a little bit easier to line up for the middle blocker when the body line showing so much of that area and more errors for Poland yeah well you mentioned the error count uh, Indonesia made one Poland made five massive so difference in a five-point game so the way that they've served in Indonesia, the time that they're serving deep to five, and that's to try and get that left side spiker just out of rhythm, out of sorts, but also make it difficult for Poland to use the right side and the middle. So serving to areas in this game just makes it so much more difficult for the setter to run the offense that they really want to do. And Indonesia look like they're well organized out there at the moment. There's been some good attacks down the left-hand side for Poland, haven't they? Crook, Ms. Chuk. This is Crook. It's one of the better ones of the day. Really well opened up and good sharp angle. What happened there? Rendy just fell over as he walked on the court. He's in the middle of everything. Please tell me he didn't he? trip over the line. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> 
Rendy. Adana with the serve. And a little roll shot from Crook. Well picked up by Rendy. Rendy now unleashes. Makes him so effective is A, that he's got great leap on him. At the bottom of the jump, his arms are working really hard as well as his legs. But the speed of his arm is so difficult to create a timing off in the block. Good get from Tio. But another chance here. For Poland and they take it. Tio reading the game back there. Mischuk turning to the line. Tio seeing that, but that's a great... Square onto the net, but arm works back through. Yeah. Randy just calmly plays it onto the block. He has this ability to like show one thing with his upper body. His arm work through a different direction. Sarah, the Indonesian fans living every point. Big evening for them. That's for sure. To take a bronze medal away from this competition with some huge, huge teams. Tio gets isolated, or they isolate Crook one on one. It's all our banner in there really splits the play nicely. The pass is into what three and a half would be indoors. And that's why the one on one, the ball moves quicker than the feet of the blockers. Oh, what a get. Oh, they all ran to the ball. Coach is smiling, of course, because all four of them just chasing after. I think that so far really sums up this performance in the opener from Indonesia. They're very much on the ball. They're very much working together. Pass is good. They're running offenses, making it difficult for Poland. 13-8, Teen. There's been a substitution as well for uh, Poland. Karowski has come on for the serve. He did this against Qatar, and then uh, he's immediately subbed back out. Oh, it's just been missed. Florchik goes to open the wrist to put it down the line. And so it's not a bad play, that, from Poland. Again, long distances. It's 13-19. Oh, no. 13-20. That's the end of the first set. As quick as you like. Disappointment for Poland. Started okay for them, but they haven't really found their rhythm yet, have they? It's gone in an instant that first set. Too many errors. I think the error count that you pulled out earlier on, Charlie, is completely on point. It's an eight point game with multiple errors from Poland. Too many mistakes offensively in the serve as well. But on top of that, the question you have to ask is can Indonesia play that well for the rest of the game? If so, then they thoroughly deserve the bronze medal from this competition as well. Well, it's uh, eight errors from uh, Poland, but when you look at the, it's the attacking, look at the attacking here. 13 attempts, 12 successes from Indonesia. That is phenomenal conversion rate, 23-11 from Poland. A lot of that comes down to their pass. Their first contact has been super quick into a good zone, and it's given the setter a really good chance, Ardana, to run the game at big speeds, big distances to open up the spikers, one-on-one, -on -one, losing the middle blockers. This is just like a mini-game of indoor volleyball played on the beach by beach players, so everybody's adapting to it. It's so far, Indonesia just firing on all cylinders. Well, Indonesia certainly got their tails up. And it's going to be a big ask for Poland. Can they find that drive that's gotten to this position? Yeah. 
and need to dig deep here. Poland haven't gone to three sets in this competition. Indonesia, three of their five games have gone to three sets. They look like they're enjoying it, the Indonesians. Both young sides, so needs a consistency here and there. We'll go one way and then another throughout the Indonesia and for Poland. There's the Indonesian coach. But uh, here we go then. Stars of the uh, second set. The ball with Mizchuk. So Mizchuk serves into Rendy. And Rendy will try and win the opening point, which he does. There you go, there's the celebration. The speed of the play again from Indonesia is making it very difficult for the blockers to form and penetrate over the net. And that's why Rendy's finding some joy through the hands. Good get from Yossi. Adana just gets his bearings a little wrong. Great touch, this one. On the turn, slow touch of the ball. You even feel at times that Poland are having to work a lot harder to score their points, even when they do play well. It's Rendy. Take a bow. He's been one of the players of the competition for me over the past week, Rendy. Hitting through the gap. And again, it's just the speed that they're playing at. Nothing more than that. The speed is up from Indonesia. The first touch is good. And the blockers are having a real tough night out there from Poland. He's just got that wrong, Crook. There wasn't a lot of height on the set. He sort of punched it. And he's punched it wide. He's made a great bit of defense in the last rally as well. Mischuk with the big hit into the block. 2 3. Poland just doing an Indonesia on Indonesia through that stage. Playing a bit quicker, a bit wider, going off the hands, and exactly you can see that shot. Oh, Donna just rotated his upper body as well. Yeah. That's not going to help. Absolutely. And you could just see on the picture, he's just going back through the routine of his blocking. That's a great dig by Poznanski. Big spike down the middle. As soon as you give them anything for free in Indonesia, they just speed the game up so quickly. Rendy had to really stoop to get that serve back. It's a chance here. It's a, it's a double touch. That's not your usual setter because Poznanski had been on service reception. Very close call. Super close call from his chip there. He's, see, all setters on the tour side form of the game have to be able to set. Just call for a double contact, which means that one hand is pushing through slightly more than the other. It also, it could be quite close to a lift, but. Adana's been to the Rendy School of Celebrating, isn't he? He's fired up. It's, every time they have a comfortable first touch, Charlie, they're just putting so much pressure on Poland with the speed that they're playing at. That's Every time you give them something for nothing, they're just punishing you. Oh, they're both going for it. And in the end, it's a bit of a mess for Poland. Free ball for Indonesia. All oh, the set's too tight, though. And in the end, it might be a free ball, but Mischuk reacts the quickest. And he's turned a losing situation into a point. 
tight setting brings the block right into the game. Less angles for Tio to get after that. It's been a threat on the right side all evening as well. Oh, there you go, another big block. It's funny how Indonesia almost had everything their own way so far this evening until the last minute or so, and it'll be interesting to see how they react through the next phase of the game. See whether they yeah, take up Yeah, if Poland get, get a run on, how will Indonesia react? Yeah, they're playing this free-flowing style of volleyball, and now the errors are creeping in as well with the passing and the setting, and it's just slightly more mental through this stage. Is just trying to draw Indonesia in. Can they pop it into the net? Short serve has been an effective one all week long, really. Just drawing one of the spikers in short to try and upset the rhythm of their attack as well. It's the outside Mischuk. Tio keeps it alive. Another chance for Poland. Mischuk down the line. Tio again keeping it alive. Rendi. Trying to go with the right hand when probably the left might have been the easier option. I have absolutely no idea what Wendy was trying to do there. Maybe knuckle? No, he's got, he goes with the heel of the palm, doesn't he? He's, he's gone with the wrong hat, that's for sure, you think. I have to ask him what he was after. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Novak enjoyed that. And his turn to do a little celebratory jig. And Poland are in front. The man is not even watching there, the setter. He has to be very aware of the play. He's still in the right position, facing the right way. He must have to watch it over his shoulder. Indonesia call a timeout because from a position of relative strength at 6 3, they're now trading 8 7. What a difference just three or four minutes makes. A couple of blocks from Poland and some frustration in the crowd. <laughs> I think, I think he's trying to G them up. This is when things were going well for Poland at the start of this second set. See, the middle blockers really rushed from Poland in that first picture. Very super slow, mate. You see how the, the blocker crouches all the way down for exploding up. So, Poland serving 8-7. This is Novak. It's interesting. Indonesia is such an emotional side. They're emotionally led. Which means when everything's going well for them, it's absolutely brilliant. But it means that that can also shift quite quickly into a negative sense of behaviour as well. Poland are just slightly more consistent in the way that they're approached towards the game. That's a great wrist away swing. Poznanski goes into Tio. Adana out this far side. Rendi finds his direction, his target. Serving to position one Poland or the back right to try and make it difficult to find Rendy, but that was done fairly, fairly easily. Ten nine Poland. Goes the way of Indonesia. Great setup here down at uh, the uh, beach here. I'll we'll tell you about it actually, the side switch, they're coming up in a second. Poznanski, Kruk, piles it down. And it is Poland who are 11 10 up at the side switch. Yeah, Katara Beach, we've got the beach football away to our right hand side. That's behind the end. Poland are currently at. You've got 
beach tennis and beach wrestling away to our left hand side. Beach basketball three on three. You've got kite foiling behind the stand on the other side. Certainly is a dream set up for the first ever one in all World Beach Games. It's going to be a hard act to follow. For Given they've had three months to yeah. organise it all. Three months since, unfortunately, San Diego pulled out of running and hosting the games. To put something up with this stature and it's inspiring. Indonesia, turn it around. Here to see the big block. They've done well again there, Indonesia, getting two out. Two blockers just limit the amount of angles that the spiker will have to spike. Znanski has to cover a lot of ground. Mischuk off the block, levels it up. Mischuk stays really high. He knows he's got two, so there's so much about decision making. It's key. Here goes Rendy, right into the corner. Speed and width from Indonesia. And they didn't pass as well last night against the USA as they've passed this evening. Miss Chuck. Tries to get a little too cute. A two-point lead now for the Indonesians. Yeah. So credit to Poland's pass, utilising the middle plate. Nano will now have to be on his toes as he's operating as that middle blocker stroke setter. He'll have to release to the pin. He's going to have to hold a little bit longer to be ready for that middle attack. And watch multiple things. Aldana goes to Grendy. Uh, <laughs> lifted ball from Poland, according to the first referee. Just has a word with Poznanski. Let's have a look. If the hand's closed, it's not a lift. It's only for an open hand if you lift the ball with the palm. So make your own mind up on that one. But Poland well, the other thing is, we've seen a replay of that uh, in slow motion, and the officials, you know, they've got to make the call in the blink of an eye. Especially you know? when the back's turned yeah. from the blocker. It's very difficult to make. So they make the call based on what they feel they see. 95% of the time, 98% of the time, it's correct. So 100%. We have the best officials in the world here. The FIBB have set the best referees from the FIBB Beach Volleyball World Tour. The FIBB have been incredible with their support of the tournament. And we are level. Tio mishandles. Everything's been going so well for them with the reception for Indonesia. It was just super deep, difficult to try and track back, keep the shoulders behind the ball. But this is, this is a really good opportunity for both. They can apply some pressure. Indonesia haven't really had to deal with too much of it in this contest so far. Rendi just takes the power off and it's good backtracking by Poznanski. Rendi will have another go and this time the block is there. Oh, do you think Novak enjoyed that one? Novak absolutely loved it. Indonesia playing quick. It's a great closure, hands dropping inside, but off the ball. Poznanski, first time of asking, playing on the left side. Really good off the ball work to get back and defend the sharp angle. They're also changing the rotation, Poland, to put one of their bigger blockers up against Rendi, to just fiddling with that formation on the front three. Crook coming back in. Kurowski. Ball in the hands of Yossi. OK, 
Ken Poznanski has to make a lot of ground up to make that. Saying it was touched, and it does go the way of Poland. They're saying it touched Rendy. Rendy saying he didn't touch him. So they have to get on with it. Decision's been made. Hard to tell. We don't have the challenge system in play here. That's unfortunate. That if Rendy feels innocent, but they have a real chance to side out Poland, gaining some real momentum. Off Odana, and it's 18-16. But I guess the point is, if you feel you've been hard done by, you have to channel that frustration, that sense of injustice into positive force, if you can. Dana. Yeah, I totally agree. Or has to come back off an Indonesian player. Or just genuinely trying to stay focused on what task is coming your way next, as opposed to thinking about what's just happened. But they're so up for this Indonesia, it's going to be difficult for them to manage their mental state of the game here. And Poland have just slipped away from the three-point lead. And the way they manage their psychological approach here is going to be key. For Indonesia over the last period, and maybe the third set. So Indonesia have won two of the three set matches they've been involved in. They lost to Qatar. They beat Germany and Australia. There's the view over the back stand there. That's the football stadiums over there. Hotels in the background, swinging round, and then there you go, there's tennis, wrestling, and basketball beyond. Got a bit of everything. It's We're in the middle, the heartbeat. Just beach lovers dream here. If you love beach sports, it's the place to be. Rendy, big block, wide. If Indonesia win this, all three medalists will come from the same pool. It's interesting looking back through. This chip off the block, and here are three set points for Poland. Tight set, has to go off the hands. Skilling itself to find the, the arms or the hands. Rendy saves one set point. Kozlowski back set, kept alive by Ardana. And the Joust still there. Oh! How have they won that? Poland came four touches. Or asking at least. Uh, that was off the net. That was, that was off the net. The first one was off the net. I don't think it was off a touch. Straight down the middle. Still a set point here for Poland. Big block, cool heads required in the white vests. Again, Ms. Jerk, and this time they take it, the third time of asking. Poland leveling up once and all. You ask for cool heads in that situation, Charlie, and that's exactly what we saw. Ms. Jerk, instead of trying to hit like the Hollywood angle, the Hollywood shot, he just decides to stay really high and look for the top of the hands. And he gets the rubber the green because of the decision making. He stays high on his arm, high on his control of the ball, and we have some game now. Poland have turned it around. Can they kick on in this third set? The first time they've gone to three sets. Do you feel the momentum lies one over another? Or do you think it's fairly even? Could not pick. 
a winner right now, but... Well, that's consistent, because you said you couldn't pick a winner at the start of this one. No. I think Poland, if you ask me, they're growing into the game, that's for sure, but their level over a period of time isn't changing too much. They're staying quite cool in their head. Indonesia, on the other hand, are a bit up and down at the moment, so it depends which Indonesian team we're going to get at the opening stages of set three. So in terms of errors, Indonesia have made only three in this contest. Poland 16, large, large part of those in the first set. You also feel in that opening set that Indonesia couldn't play much better and Poland couldn't have played much worse at the same time. So there's always something was always going to meet in the middle of some stage and we're going to have a bigger battle on our hands. So here we go then. It's a one set shootout for the bronze medal at the inaugural Enoch World Beach Games and the Beach Volleyball 4 on 4. It's going to be Indonesia. Well, Poland does certainly think it's Indonesia going to get this underway. They want to receive. Poznanski saying that he what they want to receive. So Indonesia, they're ready to serve. The, the athlete's body language should probably tell the story. Certainly so. Poland feel that they have the advantage receiving first and therefore having the first attack. Yeah, good work. And they do get the first point, but it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the textbook point, was it? So it's little things that were all going Indonesia's way in set one. They were getting all of these sorts of scruffy points going their Did way. Did really just try and head the ball through the net? No idea. I, I, nothing surprises me with that young man, that's for sure. Good block. Oh, Novak. I tell you what, Rendy's got a competitor here. Novak's super pumped. Yeah, but straight away, good serving. He has to go to the line there. His whole body's turned. Good blocking. I feel that it's already quite a long way back here for Indonesia mentally. Might be 2 0 on the score, but. Tell you what, that's a very quick spike. There's hardly any time between set and spike, is there? I mean, still on the way up as he hits it. Yeah, he's trying to be in the air as the ball's in the setter's hands. Totally works and trying to make it difficult. Generally can't call a winner here. A minute ago it looked as if Indonesia had come out a little bit startled in their approach, a little bit defensive, tentative. But then two points later, super quick play through the middle and a kill block to go with it. And followed by another block. Rendy again. Rendy and Adana double teaming. All eyes here, reading what's going on through the net. Not paying much attention to the ball, but although being aware of where the ball is anyway. Miss Chuck goes long. Off the block. Point, bonus point. Adana, though, the blocker stroke setter for Indonesia is doing a fine job of getting out and double stacking. That's what we saw in the first set as well. Poland have started to use the middle more as the game's gone on. It's really held our banner a little bit more. But now they're managing to get two up once more. This is going to be some play from Poznanski. That had to go over the net. Side switch comes at eight in the third set. If you're joining us for the first time in this 4x4 beach volleyball competition at the Anon World Beach Games. Certainly would have been worse times to join us as well. What's coming our way?
as Nansky comes across to Mischuk. Good block. Ball still with Poland. It's a long way across. The joust at the net somehow has been kept alive. And the kill comes in from Mischuk to level it up. Ginormous at the net, Mischuk. First of all, Inicia is serving to position one on the right side to try and get Mischuk out of the game, but it doesn't happen for very long. Florchik and Novak getting involved on the side. It's gone the way of Indonesia. Poznanski having a word. Novak's just been sent away because he is uh, in the red. But they're sure they won that point. Yeah, you need that reverse camera angle to see if it does get a touch. 5 4 Indonesia. A little bit, like we said earlier on, if Indonesia felt hard done by, they had to channel that in sense of injustice. Now it's Poland's turn to do the same. Definitely took every little bit of frustration out on that volleyball, didn't it? Indonesia still trying to serve away or stop Poland attacking through that left side, make it difficult for the setter to utilize all of those options. Kurowski on for Crook. Florchuk is uh, leading the cheers on the sideline. Rendy down the middle, goes up over the top, flying leap from Kurowski. Oh, well played, well played Indonesia. It's turning into some game. Poland are trying to get Indonesia passing off the net, so they play a slower ball to the outside. Gives them a chance to get more blocks, more defences. But then Indonesia again, in transition, just makes something out of nothing. Real tactical battle going on out there. And at the moment, both sides coming up with the answers. Dies on Mizchuk. Novak goes cross court. Novak feels it was touched. The officials do not agree. Novak's so fired up here, he's going to get okay. booking yeah. for it. Has to be so careful. You talk about taking that frustration out on the ball, but the problem is if you do that, you're going to start missing swings as well. It's just going to have to try and be to calm himself down, to be smooth, to be accurate in what he's doing, as opposed to just now he's gone a bit too far. Yeah, the warning shown to Poland as a whole. They're still very much in this. It's only a one-point game in this third set. It's a great game. Another great advert for the sport after the women's bronze medal match. We're treated to a three-set thriller. We've got the same again here. Yeah, good work from your seat. Side switch. 8-6. Indonesia in front. There to give some credit to Tio as well, who tracks that ball back in the pass better to put it back into that zone at three. But the setter can just run the game at high speeds, and that's where Indonesia are their best. When they pass perfectly, their game is so tight. Adana. Znanski goes out to Mischuk. Somehow they've kept it alive here. And down the line goes Rendy. What That's a point. Maybe the defense of the game right there. I also sits back as the off-block cover. Just sticks an arm out. And because of that, I think the whole game's just turned again. But it's a three-point game in favor of Indonesia. Try and catch him. Cute does Crook, as Nansky, Crook with the set, he goes back set to Mischuk, who comes cross court, well done by uh, Crook to keep it alive, can Indonesia finish, Poznanski, Mischuk, 
Crook now has to come up with an improvisation. It's wide of the mark. And Poland keep their hopes alive by somehow hustling the point. It's funny, this cool, calm Polish side that we saw in set two, just starting to rev a little bit more. Good thing or a bad thing, we'll find out. Find out soon enough, won't we? Here comes the serve from Poznanski. There's the block. Yossi. Oh! Wow. And on such fine margins, can bronze medals be won and lost? That could come down anywhere, and it comes down just on the Polish side of the net. I thought it might land on the net, roll along the tape, but it doesn't. Arms just operating away from this chick's body, so it leaves him a little bit open. Tio, flying defense. It's Nansky. Mischuk, Crook goes cross court straight at Rendy. He's going to dust himself down for this massive cross court. Poznanski isolated. And Indonesia now lead by four. We'll talk about Rendy here, but Tio made the first bit of defense. But the set for Malenek, he plays the game so quickly that as soon as they make that first touch, the third one's coming before Poland can set up. So not only is that about Rendy Licardo, it's also about Ardana, the setter as well. Tio with the defensive play. Very well organized in sets one and three, Indonesia. So Rendy's getting plenty of congratulations down on the on the uh, bench, but there's still a long way to go in this. They've got to play at the old cliche, isn't it? Each point at a time. Can't look ahead. Can't think you've got this bronze around your neck. Definitely. As soon as you become complacent, you leave yourself open to be attacked. So, Indonesia return to the sand. Four points to the good. And in the box seat in this final set. First of 15, remember. Rendy serves to Floor Chick, who's into proceedings. Floor Chick again gets hands to possession. That's a some get from Poznanski. Uh, Mischip goes for the first ball. He thought they were coming over on second. He was on the way down as the spike comes in. But there, he's on the way down as Yossi's on the way up. It's beauty of the way that they play. They play so fast. It's difficult for the middle blocker to, to make a decision and read the game. So he commits too early. Rendy passed the ball around the back of his body before serving. He's in the zone, is the Indonesian number two. Ms. Chuk, there is Rendy. Rendy coming again, and he's gone with the left arm as such. The left hand has really opened up that seam of court. If he went with the right, he has to play straight away into the block and down. But going with the southpaw, hits through the seam. There's no way he could get the ball through that avenue with his right hand. Off the block, and why? Oh, I, I, I don't think that's block. I think that's come off the net. I don't think this gives, gets a pass. This, this hits the net call for me. I don't think that's off the block. It's another one, isn't it? Close decision. I think but, Indonesia might have had a few close decisions, so what goes around comes around. It's also now how they react again. And that reaction is one that's a bit tentative. The set from Alana is too tight. So Rendy's always going to get blocked out. They're not the biggest team in Indonesia. They have to play slightly off the net to be able to pick the balls at different points. Floor check. Good lead by Rendy. And here are five bronze medal points. Super evident to see Florchik just gutted with missing that serve. Let Indonesia off the hook and looks pretty certain to see where the 
Bronze medal is heading. Tio serves to Mischuk. Mischuk has to find the kill, and he does. Saves the first match point. But here come, well, the next three, if required, will all be on Poland serve. Tio coming forward. Rendy, can he wrap it up? No. Sets too close to the net. Poznanski, Florczyk, down the middle he goes. Completely right, Charlie. Too many sets flirting with the net. Keeps so much pressure on the spikers. Poland are digging their heels in. Third match point. Tio again, the serve recipient. And there is the winner from Yossi. And Poland go home with nothing. That's so disappointing for them. But the other side of the coin is the joy for Indonesia, who finish bottom of Pool A, but walk away with a bronze medal in the inaugural Enoch World Beach Games. They've had an incredible competition, coming fourth in their pool, but they've come past the likes of Australia to be here. They just missed out against the USA yesterday, but they're organized, they're young, they're athletic, dynamic, and they're a lot of fun to watch as well. Final score here. Indonesia take the bronze medal, two sets to one. 21-13, 19-21, 15-11.